Hi folks, I'm your educator Niranjan Ekde and you are watching Jiva Shastra Abhyasa. Today we are going to learn two very important questions which comes in the process known as Megasporogenesis. The first one is what is Megasporogenesis and, and the mainly the second question is very important which I am going to reveal in the video. So what's the wait? Let's begin. Let's finish up the first ritual. That is, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Let's solve the first question. That is, that is, what is mega sporogenesis? What is mega sporogenesis? Right? Okay. The mega sporogenesis is the generation of generation of Megaspore or female gametophyte through micro megaspore mother cell through megaspore mother cell. So now the second question comes, right? Yes. The second question is how or where is the megaspore mother cell and how this megaspore mother cell we are going to get. So that was the topic of the main topic of today. That is the development of megaspore mother cell okay so you are uh, looking at different uh, uh, three different diagrams and it is uh, mixed with the two colors red and black why because i'm going to tell you why it is okay so in the in the during the initial stages of development of ovules okay towards the micropyla end and near the hypodermal cells in between the hypodermal cells there is a particular cell will be generated a new cell is generated and which is known as archisporial cell it is known as archisporial cell okay what is archisporial cell then archisporial cell is a cell which is larger in size okay in the hypo in the hypodermal cell a uh, one cell acts as a archisporial cell which accumulates larger number of cytoplasm and and also it uh, the nucleus becomes uh, bigger than any other cell compared to the other cell and the cell also looks bigger due to the cytoplasm accumulation so this is the initial cell for the development of microspore mother cell this is the initial cell the first cell we can say so soon after its generation so it directly goes into the division process okay division process the process of division is anti uh, periclinal division the process of division is periclinal division so what is periclinal division the periclinal division is so if a cell is there like this you can see here uh, a cell is there the periclinal division is a transverse like a transverse section so there will be two cell will be uh, divided which makes two rows of cells continuously if there is a cell so it makes a two rows of cell continuously that is what periclinal division is so so uh, it gives two cells for us the single archis uh, archisporeal cell one is upper parietal cell upper parietal cell and the lower sporogenous sporogenous cell just remember these two very important names one is parietal cell another one is sporogenous cell the parietal cell soon after soon after its development so it is undergoes undergoes a several anticlinal division again what is if you if you want to know what is anticlinal division it is the latitudinal division which gives the two columns continuously like this it divides 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 and gives the two columns columns will be more like that division so this parietal cell undergoes a, a lengthier or long anticlinal division so and gives a lot number of cells which are going to degenerate in the coming stages but the sporogenous cell acts as the cell of megaspore mother cell so it it acts as in the future it is going to act as megaspore mother cell but 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 to get the megaspore mother cell now till now the uh, parietal cell has undergone the 
undergone the process of anticlinal division and till then so the sporogenous cell accumulates lot number of cytoplasm and it moves to the last stage that is the division so now it undergoes the division of again the division of periclinal division and gives us the four we can see here uh, it gives us the four different cells four different cells so which are known as megaspore mother cell or four tetrads megaspore mother cell which is also known as tetrad stage because there are four megaspore mother cells are there then why are they? those only one cell is going to become a female gametophyte then why four are there the, these are four cells so here you can see a special cell here one so that is the parietal cell which is going to degenerate in the future okay parietal cell which is going to degenerate in the future this for in this four cells the one only one cell is going to give us the female gametophyte so then then what happens to the three so the three cells which are near to the micropylar end is going to inactive it becomes inactive and it gives it gives away the cytoplasm to the cell which is present near to the chalaza now now this chalazal and then the cell which is present in the chalazal end is going to become the megaspore mother cell which is going to give birth to the female gametophyte so this is up for today and this is what we have, have learned about the how the generation of megaspore mother cell is happened so if you have any queries or doubts please comment below of the video and and if you are new to this channel subscribe to the channel hit hit the hit the like button and share it till it reaches to everyone until then let's hit the road of success jai hind